House of the Dragon, Episode 3, Kings Will Breed and Crabs Will Feed. Let's go. Spoilers up ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Azart. My name is Nick, and I got Kyle here with me. Go check out his Instagram, Petcos with a Zero. Amazing, talented artist. So we've been going through every episode of House of Dragons. We're also going through Lord of the Rings. We're also going through Primal. We cover a lot of shows here, so subscribe to get all the updates. Azart.space. It's definitely going to be a busy <laughs> couple of months, that's for sure. Yes! All right! Okay. Birth is the theme of this episode. But I had a question. Every time I see animals dying or stuff like that, I'm always reminded Ooh. of the original series when the stag and the wolf dies, right? And it's supposed to mm -hmm. resemble what's going to happen in the future right and then and also the the wolves themselves are they're alluding to what will happen with the characters too like the wolves are you know even the names the ghost and john snow and obviously you know like every name is like related to what's going to happen with the wolf or with their with their connected siblings yeah. so seeing two animals in this episode we had a boar that mm -hmm. attacked and we also had a stag and we had a white stag so i'm like in my head i'm like okay what is this what is the meaning of this and kyle well, explain it to me <laughs> well what i surmised from it is that you know they spotted the 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 white horn or whatever yes. it is like that you know the great the great buck that is like <laughs> white yes um and uh you know they said that like before the targaryens came it was like a symbol of royalty mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. or, or regality right yeah um and so like you know it's like oh it would be fitting indeed if you were to fell it you know <laughs> your grace um and it turns out they didn't catch the white horn they caught oh. like another another good sized buck but not the symbol of like kingly you know like opulence right yeah so what happened was though after uh you know Rhaenyra and uh and, and Cole came mm -hmm. were like coming back to camp the the white horn like came to them yeah right and sort of graced them with their presence so that might be the symbolism that she is destined to rule Ooh. and not the line of and not the series current uh you know heir, uh, like you know well that's the thing he's not the heir yet he hasn't named mm -hmm. his, his his new son, heir or his yeah. new heir new yeah. heir yeah his son the new heir yet mm. um and it turns out it seems like he's pretty convicted in his in his ways of uh keeping Rhaenyria yeah um as the as the true heir yes that so. definitely this was this episode was the path of that yeah i want to say yeah. and and that conversation between them was like yeah. like i was I, I like i like i felt something i was like oh man that uh this like father and daughter relationship is like really strained right now yeah it was definitely strange Ugh. especially because it was a three-year gap Dude, yeah that's a huge a jump happened. that's a huge jump you mm -hmm. know like the war's going on and obviously now she has a half brother <laughs> and, <it's, laughs> and um it's I, with her former best friend with her <laughs> former best friend so it's it's definitely the the time jumps it's good because i'm always able to catch up right right away it's not bugging me at all these these, yeah. these time jumps so i'm like enjoying the the whole time jumps but um she's getting really close to her king's guard yeah i mean yeah. you think some things you think you some sparks are gonna fly you think that's gonna be her one she chooses or do you think it's May gonna be family like she's gonna actually be wed to the other land not not lannister um the other uh ship the shipping dragon Lenor valerion yes yeah, yeah. Um, well, okay, here's the thing. We saw this episode that the series is like, look, you should marry who you want to marry. I'm not mm. going to, you know, like force you into anything, yeah. right? Because he, he recognizes his 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 daughter's own force of will, mm. right? Um, and so he's like, look, it's it, I want you to be happy. And if you getting to choose who you want to marry, mm -hmm. right, uh, then I'll be happy. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that's the thing. Who knows? It could be it could be the King's Guard guy but i don't i think that's gonna be her so. fling though it it could be a fling yeah. they might even sire a a bastard of some kind <laughs> perhaps uh, you know those th those are not uncommon in western <laughs> not uncommon at all so and yeah. what's also very interesting too is like i think she knows politically the right move to make for her because yeah. she had that dis discussion with her father she was like it would right. be you know, blank. You know what I mean? Like she already knows who she would marry if she was going to marry, like for the right move, kind of thing. Right. Which is right. a smart, which is smart on her end, and it shows her capability of leading. Mm hmm. I mean, that's the thing. Like, like with with the station that they're in, both the series and Rhaenyra, mm. like they have people telling them what they should do. Yeah. Right. 
Like, I mean, Viserys was was even like at one point he sees like, I am tired of this politicking. I'm here to hunt, you know, like that sort of thing. Like I was like, I was kind of like right there with him. I'm like, yeah, man, like I'd, I'd want to try and have a good time and forget yeah. just a little, just for a little bit and then go get back to it. You know, I got major but, Robert Baratheon vibes. I just want to be yeah. in the wild, Ned. Let's just ride out, Ned, and just be mad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, Come like, on, Ned. Let's go. <laughs> I hate right, this I politics guess. stuff. You know what I mean? I think that happened like in the <laughs> third episode. Where I, remember, I think they're like out like at a dinner table or a lunch table yeah. at, at like a break or something. He's like, I want to be mountains, Gandalf. Mountains kind of thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Crossing over, obviously, I know. But <laughs> um, And then um, I, was, I also thought it was interesting the dream he talked about. Yep. His prophetic dream. Mm-hmm. Do you want to break Again, that down? Well, I mean, I think uh, so. So we talked about it a little bit, I think, an episode or, or, or two ago that um, the Targaryen dreams are often rife with, uh, you know, like they like the person that has a dream often thinks, ah, it means this mm. thing. Right. But then it ends up being something else. Right. Because mm. the dragon dreams are often misleading yeah. right? or, or, or ill interpreted. Mm. So, you know, like that's the thing. Now, now we see the Viserys is conflicted. Again, because he only had that dream once. He said, remember, he tried yeah. to get it at, like, get it again, but it never manifested. Mm. And um, now he, you know, like, now his choices have led him down another path. Mm. That's the antithesis of his dream. Yeah. So, I don't know. Mm. I was hoping. Or maybe, he, yeah. or maybe he was dreaming of another of another heir yeah, in and the that, future. That's kind of what he was saying, you know? too, right? Maybe it wasn't me. Maybe it was. Yeah. yeah. And then... um Okay, okay. Just a fun side note: the guy that's playing the the guitar next to um oh the bard the bard, yeah. I could have swore his name was Samwell. No, I, I comment down below. I know I want I wanted to go back, but we have to have to. But I thought she said thank you, Samwell. You may go, Samwell. I'm like, is that like a is that like a like an Easter egg for S- Samwell? You know. Anyways, but. I, <laughs> wait, and he's true. Wait, wait, what do you well, mean? Well, because isn't it Samuel Tarly? Like, isn't oh, yeah, so, it? Yeah, 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 Samuel Tarly. But yeah. I, the, I just thought, like, oh, is that the is that like an Easter egg kind of thing? Obviously, it's not oh. the same character, but the name of the character. Ah, uh, like the like perhaps the House Tarly yeah. is still, or, or yeah. not even House Tarly, but Samuel, like just the name, you know, like Sam. Well, Samuel. right. Yeah. I just thought, yeah. just thought that was fun. If that's even right, <laughs> I can be way off, but um, but we got to talk about a lot of action. In this oh, yeah. episode, and it freaking looks amazing. It looks so good. Gives us Battle of the Bastard vibes with the realism and stuff, except for the dodging of arrows for like a good like football field that, running length. Which I was like, you know, <laughs> when you've got a devil may care attitude like <laughs> like, like Damon does, I mean, uh, I who like, knows? Maybe just manifest an anti arrow field. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's just that. Tar- Targaryen uh, shield I mean, of protection, plot armor protection. I, no, <laughs> I liked. I actually really liked the opening shot. Oh yeah, the of, of like it's just showing like the, the, the ships in the background, mm-hmm. and then the like that the, sound, like the trebuchet yeah, arcs, the sound too, and then then it hitting one of the ships, and then it's slowly panning out, and you see them on like an eye like on, on the opposite island, like. Like, we can't take this much. Oh, yeah, you know, like that, that sort of thing. That scene. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought and like, about the it, it was just cool because it's like it kind of gives you that vibe. It's like uh, it's smoky. It's yeah. like and then when you see the dragon come oh, in, oh, yeah, you know, strafe, you know, and it's like it is it looks like a medieval war is like a fantasy war zone kind of vibe. It's pretty really epic, cool. too. Right. Yeah. And it's nice yeah. to see epic scope like that. Like I also really enjoyed in Game Game of Thrones when you would see the wall like pulled back yeah you know, it's just like, whoa you know what i mean it's like it's so amazing or when we see Minas Tirith for the first time when like gandalf rides over yeah. the hill it's like you know it's like wow it's incredible <laughs> <laughs> eye candy all day long um but yeah anyway i was thinking about it like i always remember Jon snow getting so beat up in the battles and i, I, I just always like yeah. i he was always like the character we like the reason why i always liked batman was he would get beat up and he would have to limp and fight. Right. And when his battles were Superman's just like, doo, 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 boop, boop, you know, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like he has a superhero vibe. And I yeah. would really appreciate seeing this after the Lord of the Rings action scenes. Like, don't get me wrong. Like Lord of the Rings was very fantasy and cool. Like, you know, it's cool, cool in its own way, but 
man, there's something about it being so real. Like, and I think even Peter Jackson hit it on the nail, like in Moria, you know, Aragorn was always so scruffed up and bleeding. And he's like, you know, mm-hmm. he's like, he's like tightening his gauntlets. He's like, now we run after the orc. You're, you're yeah. a guy, you know what I mean? Like, but they're like bleeding and sweaty. Obviously, Le- right. Legolas wasn't all the time, but he did, he did get a little <laughs> messy. But like Aragorn was just always just like the badass, right. like always bleeding and sweating and, and fighting. And I just love that in this episode too. He's like breaking off the arrows and just like, come at me. <laughs> and then he emerges out of the cave dragging yeah. not just the head but half a torso Dude. of the crab eater yeah. or crab feeder Valerian and he's just steel covered in you, blood right valerian steel yep <laughs> and just hack right through <laughs> man it was beautiful freaking metal sequence. oh my gosh that was so cool and seeing the dragon swoop in with the fire Woo. Yeah. oh the okay you know what i actually felt kind of set like i was like <laughs> like <laughs> okay at the beginning where we're like where it's like at night and he's like he's being uh one of the soldiers is being nailed to, to oh one yeah of the things oh, by the crab yeah. feeder and the crabs are eating him and then like the dragon comes like yes save me my print and it just and, I'm, and then you're like oh yeah that's right this is this is game of thrones yeah. this is westeros mm-hmm. like it's not going to be some savior coming to rescue everyone yeah. it's like out of my way peasant but, you know that was also setting up though almost the end of the episode and probably the setup for next episode just the mm. fact that he's going into battle himself he's gonna have the 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 rightful heir to the crown or people gonna want people are gonna want him to be the heir because he's the warrior ah. He 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 does he like sacrifices himself for the greater good. He runs in first. It's almost like that Jon Snow appeal. Everyone just loved Jon Snow so much because he went into battle with everyone. He fought for everyone. Like he was right. on the ground. He wasn't, you know, just in the background, like, yes, send the army to the left, send it, send it over to the right. You know what I mean? Like Also, let's not also let's not ignore Damon did that. Like, I'm pretty sure he did that expecting to die. I don't yeah. think he was expecting me to be backed up. Mm-hmm. Um, and he did that, like, remember, like he, he, he drove himself to do that because of the, the, the message that the series <laughs> sent him first, first he, he does the first faux pas, which is never shoot the messenger or never beat the messenger, which he did promptly. With his helmet. Then he's like, you know what? Screw this. And then he just rows himself out. He's like, I'm going to die. Like, cause I, this is a, dis- like, maybe he's disgraced that his brother's actually helping him. He wanted to do this himself. He thought he could do it, you know? I don't know, yeah, and it, you, but it, but in the end, it turns it out he did. Out. He just needed an extra zhuzh. Yeah, it worked out know? in the end. But they had to have planned like the ar- army coming down, right? Like he may have not have survived it. Yeah, but they, I mean the army was right there. Like you talk about perhaps, perhaps where yeah, perhaps they skipped some. Yeah. You know, planning yeah. stuff. They, it, yeah. it didn't make the edit floor. You know, it, it was cut. Right, yeah. It was cut off the edit floor. <laughs> yeah. And then we had the the Lannisters in this scene. We did. We did. What did you we think? Got to see Jason the twins, Lannister, right? No, but there was twins, right? Uh, the ladies, right? No, the I thought the Lannister boys were twins. I thought there was oh. like two of them, and she's I, like, I only, I, I only remember Jason. Oh well, Lannister, I, well, so. Jason's the one that approaches, but I think she's like, uh-huh. which twin are you? And he's like, I'm Jason uh, Lannister or something like I that. See. So I'm like, I see. Oh, twins. <laughs> ah, all right, all right. A Lannister well, would I, have uh, twins. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. He's um. He definitely seems like a Lannister. Oh, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah, golden hair. Cocky. Like, uh, like, like, like Viserys said. Uh, even his pride has pride. Yes. Yeah. And then, did you catch the king's fingers? Yes the 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 the, the left hand with the two last of them gone, the two right? missing. Yep. Yeah. I noticed that when he was speaking to um uh to his new his his wife, right? Yes. Like like, A- like he's he, he's like holding. Alice, thank yes. you, Nick. Allison and. uh <laughs> And like he's drinking, I'm like, oh, oh snap! Yeah. There's another finger gone. He cut him too. off, huh? Dang. So and and they're still they're still looking a bit gray. I don't know. Do you think it's still mm. great grayscale? I mean, it's been three years. Do you think it would have jumped faster? It's probably diabetes. It's probably oh. it's, it's probably medieval diabetes, mm. <laughs> also known as sugar sickness. <laughs> what South Park is like the power of diabetes? Like it's like it's- overseen by the level nine ranger Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. Power or something like that. <laughs> Anyways, what? that's twice now I did a South Park reference. God. <laughs> the first one was crab people, crab people. Oh, and then, oh my gosh, I just thought this was funny. When they were on the hunt, and he's like, This is this is the poop, and he like grabs the poop or whatever. Yeah. I think it's the same hand, and then he touches the high tower afterwards, like, thank you, mate. I'm like, dude, you don't touch someone with the poop hand. <laughs> 
I'm like, what I totally missed thing? that. I saw him. I saw him doing that, and I'm like, okay, yeah. No just wonder why his fingers is, are you know? missing. Yeah. He has an open wound. He's like, oh, poop. Yes. Mm, yes. Mm. You know? mm. And he was wearing a glove most of the episode. Yeah. And it did feel like I thought it was I thought the glove was too large at first. I'm like, why does it feel really? like? Because I thought it was so weird, like the way his fingers wouldn't move, and it was always like a it was always like a full pool thing. Don't <laughs> mention it. Don't. I just thought it was so interesting. So, what we witnessed is the victory over the triarchy. Yes. Right. So, you know, now it's going to be this new chapter. And from what we see from the sneak peek for episode four, mm. looks like Damon's going to be like <laughs> walking into King's yeah. Landing and having a, a crown on his head, it looks like. Yes. And he's you the know? crown of the Isles or something like that? Crown of, uh, uh, no, uh, King of the Narrow Sea, Narrow sea. I believe. Okay. You know? And that would be um, the place he just conquered? Yes, okay. yes. So so this was all taking place in the Narrow Sea, mm. which is between Westeros and Estros. Ah. Um, all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna switch uh, gears here to comments. Woo! To those hot D comments. Thank you for your All comments. Right. So, uh, well, f- well, the, this first one is from our growing um, uh, consortium of of maesters. <laughs> um, one of our one of our typical posters, um, Adventures in Portland, says, "I too was wondering." Uh, as of the previous mm. episode, if it was grayscale. Yeah. So another, so before with with the last one with our last comment, they said it's got to be grayscale. Mm-hmm. This uh, this maester though seems to be saying like maybe mm. maybe more data is required. Um, <laughs> or, I or I think time. so too. Like <laughs> yeah yeah more, yeah more time. Like and and Nick, you might have a point. It may not be grayscale. It may be something else. Yeah. Right. Diabetes. Um, some sort of wasting yeah. disease, which is horrible. Okay. So uh next one is Fernandez T. Anyone else get a true scare uh uh for Otto and his company on the bridge? Can mm. you imagine going against someone with a dragon on that wall? Mommy, that yeah. scene hooked me. HBO is the shit. Agreed. So uh <laughs> this is referring to episode two, yes. right? And uh the stand Yeah, I you know what? I gotta I got to agree with Fernandez. Uh, definitely. I was like, oh, this is tense. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going to happen right now. Like, man, <laughs> good one. Good and then one. <laughs> uh, uh, Studio Room uh, says, I love your Raised by Wolves t-shirt. I am so bummed out uh, about the cancellation. I almost don't want to watch House of the Dragon. Just saying. Well, you know what? Studio Room, thanks for the support. Yes. You know? Kyle did design that shirt. By the way, check out his Instagram. He's an amazing, talented artist. And go to azart.space and you can get all the fun geeky shirts we're working on. <laughs> <laughs> and ho oh, ho, the king of fiber themselves, Oat Lord says, <laughs> it uh if this is a taste of this show only getting better, it's going to be huge. The show uh that the show that is. Mm. I still think it's hard to beat the Night King as a villain and bringing in audiences. That is until Arya ruins it. <laughs> A little bit of salt there, Oat Lord. A little bit of salt there. You know, I mean, I kind of have to agree with yeah. him. Like, like I would say that, the, I mean, the Night King is pretty hard to to beat. Um, but who knows? We might uh, have an outside force, yeah. you know, coming in. Um, unless it's all, I mean, it, it, it seems like those it's going to be, be a lot like, of internal yeah, struggle. internal civil war yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. And not Captain America, Iron Man civil war. It's more else than the Dragon <laughs> civil war. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, our uh, our whiz kid from around the block, Chris Wiz yeah, says, welcome back. Uh, House of the Dragons uh, is giving me glimpses of what made Game of Thrones so spe- so special. Mm. But I haven't seen enough outside threat yet. We finally got Crab Feeder. Otherwise, everything is all in-house. Mm. I know this is supposed to be a Targaryen civil war, but we need more outside threat. Mm. Love your videos. Keep putting them out. So um, Thank you. I think we were just, you know, we were just talking about this, uh, and and I think, um, I think, Chris, unfortunately, I, I think it's mainly going to be a, a civil war type situation. You know, yes. we're going to get that but that infighting. We stuff. might do something with Dorn. Yeah, Dorn's always right there. You know, and that's true. With Dorn, and then those Dornish there can be. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not an like, expert. <laughs> but, but like, that's the thing. Like again, like with the with with Oat Lord's comment, right? Like. Yeah. You know, is that going to be a big enough threat, though? Yeah. It'll be like, oh, no, like, give but us all pause. To your, to, you know, we thought the Night King was going to be a big 
threat. It was only one episode. <laughs> I, you know, I guess so. Yeah. Well, I mean, they were rushed. Few. They were rushed. I mean, the Night King. And it was always implied. He did that he take was out, out a there. dragon. The best right. episode, one of my favorite episodes, was Hard Home when he like raises the dead all in front of John Jon Snow when he's like, when he's on the boat. Yeah. So I still get chills thinking about that. Anyways, next go, go, go. <laughs> and uh, this one comes from TikTok from uh, from Evan saying, um, it's a bloodline. It shows every Targaryen leading uh, up to the to Rhaenyria. If the symbols are filled with blood, that person has died. Mm. Interesting. You know, I actually read this comment in prep before mm-hmm. watching the show, so I was looking for it in the credits this time. Wow. And I... Maybe Ooh. that's a good thing, but like, I don't know. It's a good observation, probably. Yes, yes. it's a good observation. It's definitely it tracks with the symbolism yeah. I think they're trying to go with. So, might be right. Thank you so much for your comments. Insane, yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, so thank much. you so much, everyone. Those were great. And let us know down below what you think of the show. Do you like it? I'm really starting to like it now. Like after this third episode, I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, we're back, baby, in Westeros. I'm. I have good. emotional buy-in. <laughs> And just so you know, we're covering other fantasies like Lord of the Rings. We're also doing Primal. We're doing Marvel shows on Disney Plus. So subscribe to get all the updates. And if you go to Instagram, follow Kyle Pecos with a zero, a very talented artist. Go let him know you came from Azart. And if you go to azart.space, you can find all of our audio video links and our cool merch we're working on. And we'll see you on the next Azart. Dude, the dragon looks freaking sick. Mm-hmm. I also like his awkward proportion body because he's like almost a serpent in the air. Yeah, really he's cool. like a weird.